It's interesting. Do you feel like, um, you know, I feel like the wave in hip hop is turning. Um, and I feel like, you know, when I was growing up outside of Cypress Hill and, you know, a few others, um, but I grew up in Phoenix, so Chicano rap was really big, right? So like Little Rob and like Mr. Capone and uh, MC Magic and MB Riders and all those guys. And it was very, um, if you weren't, like Cypress Hill, everybody could enjoy. Yeah. They were, they just happened to be Latino, right? Yeah. That, but then there was that way where it was almost like if you weren't really connected to the Chicano culture, didn't understand it, you might not appreciate the music like the people who did appreciate the music. Right now, I feel like, man, there's this this Mexican wave in hip hop specifically is is rivaling anything we've ever seen. Um, you know, there's a guy like that Mexican OT who's going crazy. Uh, the L.A. and San Diego scene of Mexican rappers are just killing it. Like it's. It feels like all of the major labels are now trying to sign Mexican talent, which yeah. I've never seen. I've never seen it. Yeah. Because I'll hear people like a lot of my homies like there's a, have you heard of a group called Coyote? Yeah. Two brothers. Yeah. They're amazing. Uh, they put a record out with Shaq not too long ago. But like now everyone's trying to sign them, you know, and any of my Mexican rapper homies, everyone's trying to sign. Like it's crazy. Like and I feel like like your movie might yeah. have been like before it's time we're all we've been before it's time with everything we've done for sure and uh you know even with the clothing we had joker clothing mm -hmm. back in 95 but me and big lucky we had a store on melrose called supermax and then we um is that way is that the same is big that's not big lucky works with cookies is it yep oh that's my guy man that's my guy he's a, he's the coolest motherfucker yeah, yeah. man yep he's such a cool dude i'm bro. going to meet him right now He's so cool, man. And right after this, I'm yeah, going to meet him. Yeah, shout out we're, to him, bro. He's killing it, man. Yeah, I like that guy. We're getting into, you know, more movie stuff. Yeah. Um, I got to go on his podcast. We keep talking about it. I got I to gotta make it over there, man. Yeah, Great guy. Yeah, it's going to be... Everything's about to, to turn right now. Everything's about for, you know, bigger and better things. So, um, where were we? We, oh, were the, we were talking about the... So, the movie got made by Bloom House. Little Riders came right. out. And then I got my footage back from the ink documentary mm -hmm. and we met a guy named sebastian ortega he came here to work with these uh he came here from argentina to work with these other argentinians and his thing was i'll work with you but i want to meet esteban and cartoon so i went to meet him and uh he was like i want to do i want to do the ink documentary what's up with that and i go that's funny you ask because i just got the footage back it had been 10 years right locked up you right. know uh, shelved so i just got the footage back and um he goes can we do it i go well you know it sounds good you know but what what, what are we talking about here he goes well let me fly you to argentina and uh show you my my facility and see what you think and he's like you know i'm the perfect guy to do this with and and i'm like looking at him like okay he's covered in tattoos from the neck down he's wearing chucks dickies t-shirt from argentina from argentina yeah. And he goes, check this out. He shows me on his phone. He has two lowriders. He's the only guy in Argentina with with a lowrider. Right. And he has two of them. So I'm looking at him. And he's going, yeah, I'm the, you know, I'm probably the perfect guy to do this with. I go, yeah, I think you are. You know, in my head, I'm thinking yeah. like, out of everybody, you obviously like, understand the culture. You, yeah, you, you get live it. it. Yeah. And he goes, you know, I I got into this business because of watching you guys, and I was like, oh man, that's cool. You know, you you guys inspired me. Shoots me a first class ticket, fly down to Argentina, picks me up, and goes, We're gonna go to my facility. And I'm thinking, like, you know, our office was crazy. We had like 20 lowriders in mm. there. It was three warehouses downtown. It was downtown the in LA the gun yeah. club. It was like, you know, we had our offices in there, tattoos. Was this studio. the, uh, this was in uh, Skid Row? Like yeah. near Skid Row, yeah, yeah. Yeah, SA Studios, we yeah. called it. Soul Assassin Studios. And then, uh, so, I get there and I see this huge 
studio, like a film production studio, not like a studio. Like this is no, like, like the you could real shoot deal. Fucking shows, movies, you could shoot like fucking, everything yeah. in there. Like some shit you drive by in Burbank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Burbank or Paramount yeah, or sure, yeah. Sony. I was like, what the fuck. And he goes, what do you think, man? And as we're walking through that, Mr. Ortega, you want a coffee? Mr. Ortega, did you eat today? You know, like, they're just, like, loving him. And he's he's the the, the main guy there, the owner of it all. And I was like, man. And then he takes me to his pad and out in the country in Argentina where he has his Lolos. And we go cruising the low rise. I was like, man, this is fucking sick. Fuck, like, this is a <laughs> yeah. no-brainer. Yeah. We're doing this shit. So he has like the number one show in in Argentina on on Netflix, and we do like a little cut and show them, and they like it. And then he's they gave us more money because he put in a a pretty good chunk, right? <clears throat> and uh, they liked it so much. They were like they showed Netflix. I guess it's like Latino Netflix. Yeah, for South, I mean, South if you America. go to depending on where you are in the world, if you turn Netflix on, shit's different. <laughs> yeah, way different. Yeah, yeah. So this is like Argentina Netflix. Right. He they showed it to the main headquarters over here, and they're like, "Let's go!" So they gave us the rest of the money to finish it, and then it was we changed the name to LA Originals, which came out fire. Yeah, so such a great fucking you guys killed that shit, dude. Yeah. It was, Man, I was, I was proud of that one. And then, then the pandemic came. We were supposed to go to South by Southwest Film Festival. Mm -hmm. We were the headliners, the main pick there. A week before, they canceled it for the pandemic yeah. and the COVID, you know? So yeah. everybody's like, hey, homes, what do I do? We had like 30 homies going with us. What do I do? You know, I got my got fucking my ticket, plane my ticket, the hotel, yeah. Airbnb. Like, how am I going to get that? I go, homie, I don't know. Like, what, Go out there what, and hang out. And what do I look like? Yeah. You know, like... The flights were canceled yeah. everything so you know the airlines everybody gave their yeah, yeah, yeah. they their were giving hell back. everybody was getting refunds during that time but it was kind of you yeah. know scary like, yeah for sure it was unknown we never yeah there's mm -hmm. that pandemic then you don't know if you're gonna get your money back right, it right, just right, looked right, like luckily at that that week everybody was locked down they were in home and they just i remember i was supposed to, to go to the TV. i was supposed to go to south by that year yeah, and I was like, well, I guess that ain't happening. <laughs> yeah, so everybody turned the, the channel on, and there, there, everybody were. was just at home watching yeah. fucking the news, <laughs> fucking e <laughs> scared to go to the grocery store. Yeah, <laughs> I remember I was, I had to go to Seven Eleven. I fucking put gloves on and shit. I was like, oh man, I don't know, baby. We yeah. really need <laughs> that shit was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy, and it was funny. Like now that we like look back and like realize like. We oh, probably overreacted, you know. Like, oh yeah, was fucking. We didn't know, you know. We didn't know. We didn't know. Doing. It was the first time it ever happened. Yeah, that shit was out of safe and sorry. 